Hey YouTube, welcome to round one against Hunter Pence. Let's see if we can win. Can't win with that hand. That's how we lose these events. Let's mull that. God damn it. <laughs> let's mull that. All right, let's keep that. I hate Magic the Gathering. <laughs> uh, Non-fungible tokens are a weird new scam, essentially. Basically, you're buying you're buying ownership of often a digital item, and then you can sell that ownership if you want. And that's basically it. That's basically it. So like I know in like sports right now, you can buy ownership, but you don't actually own the thing. You own the ownership of the thing of like a sports highlight. So if somebody does like a sick dunk, you can buy the ownership, although you can't do anything with that sick dunk but you own part of it somehow. And then the, the plan is that somebody else at some point, hopefully wants to collect sick dunks. And then you can sell your ownership of the sick dunk to them and then make more money. Basically imagine if stocks meant nothing. That's what NFTs are. This is what a one four double strike. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay. Ow. So no actual trick. All right. Why did I do that now? Because it's going to hit again. It's not first strike, it's double strike. And is it time to just go and grab a fractal summoning already? No, we should start with an elemental summoning. All right, got rid of that. Yeah, it's stocks, except more meaningless than stocks. Because you don't actually own anything. You have no rights. All you can do is sell that stock to someone else, at least with stocks. Maybe you get to like sit in on a shareholder meeting or something, right? If you own enough stocks, maybe you like get to vote on something, but with NFTs, you, you, you don't own anything. Uh, but Hasbro is now with a west coast based team i wonder who that is investigating doing them themselves this maelstrom muse is gonna hurt at least hunter was to our right so i don't think that explosive welcome is gonna have gone around but a mastery is gonna hurt here don't do it don't do it give me one turn without a mastery please just let me have the test of talents up. Please? Please. I beg. Beg. That's not a mastery. Yeah, also stocks sometimes pay dividends. Putting a land on top this late into the game. I like it. I like it. Let's drop a runner. Send in my 4-4? Four four? Yeah, let's see if we can get some stuff off the board. Or deal 4. That works too. I will test of talents a whole lot of things. Take and 2. Six, 
it going for like a magma opus? Is that the kind of BS that we're going to have to deal with? <laughs> I'd prefer not to. Oh, we'll counter a welcome. You just watch. No. You got any more? You got any more? Let's see what you got. You got two pillar drop wardens in hand. Well, I don't care for that. Do these all exile? We don't exile the one that we countered. Or no, we can grab it out of the graveyard. So we'll certainly exile that one. And that one. Ooh. Ugh! Stop! Um, we're gonna have some trouble. We're gonna... We're... we're I, I don't know if we're gonna make round two. I don't... I don't know about that. <laughs> I have a worry. I have a worry. Um, at least he's not buying anything back. We need to get going is what we need to do so that we can finish off with the Vortex Runner when we get enough lands. Yeah, yeah, Hunter got himself some rares. Some real good rares. That archaic's gonna suck. Blade Historian, if we can keep the board clear, is a little less scary. But that archaic's gonna suck. Take a nine. Two lands off from Vortex Runner, eh? The stupid Aerialist does nothing. It can't get through the Pillar Drop Wardens. I might just want to scry for lands. We scry on upkeep. We have at least one mana available. Yeah, we can bring in a Tangle Trap for Maelstorm Muse. No blocks. Yeah, we just need like two lands. Biblioplex Assistant. Doesn't do it. No thanks, Biblioplex Assistant. Mentor's Guidance? Okay. Okay, that can draw some stuff. So we come in now, what are the blocks? Blocks are maybe like Pledge Mage, Warden on that. I think these are still good attacks for us, right? And like, if we come in with the aerialist, that puts the pillar drop in front of it. I don't think we give up the aerialist yet. Sledge Mage Warden Adapt to Shorg. Yeah. It's the worst case scenario here. Sledge Mage. Warden on 4-4. Four, four. We get rid of a Pledge Mage. Probably has to chump block the Pledge Mage. Yeah, let's just push. And then this Guidance might draw us the two lands we need to get through with the Vortex Runner at the end. Plus, I mean, if we do get two creatures off the board here. Triple block, okay. Playing for what? Playing for a snake skin veil. Quad block. Okay. Get rid of those two. And he goes to goes to three. Two creatures off the board. His next turn is a pillar drop warden. He's got warden, warden, muse. For block, 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 die? All right, that works for me. 
Wait, what's going on here? Did I already accept? I already accepted, okay. Arena's interface sometimes confuses me, you know? Oh, I guess he's going to have four creatures now. Four creatures now. Draws, pitches, a land, I assume. Yeah, pitches the land. So Pillar Drop still in hand. Pillar Drop still uses up most of his mana. I guess I was maybe counting if he attacked with the Muse. But this Guidance should help us out. It was a strange block with me only having a single green up. Well, I guess Snakeskin Veil would have been, what, two counters on it? It would have become a 7-7. Seven, seven. So he just really wanted it dead, which I can understand. So there's still nothing in the yard, right? There's still nothing in the yard that Pillar Drop Warden does. They're just obnoxious reachers. Blade Historian's fine. So that's no Pillar Drop Warden coming in. That's no attack coming in. Because otherwise he would die? Okay. Killing my runner is cute. There goes that plan. But with snow days in the deck and whatnot, we still should have a decent chance. So we throw that in front. Yeah, just that in front. And actually, a snow day off the top wins the game here. We just tap down the Pillar Drop Warden. A Barian Books off the top wins the game. Fair bit wins the game off the top here. It had double strike, so there was no point in double blocking because it would have killed this in first strike damage and then it would have killed that in second strike damage. Um, but yeah, this just wins the game. We mage duel this on this, kill that, fly in for three, and win. I like winning. In fact, we can even... Let's not even show more cards. Let's not be cute. Let's kill that, fly in, win the game. Ah, uh, yeah, still round one, still match one. And kaboom. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Our deck may not be powerful, but it plays well. We should have screenshotted the deck. There was no reason... for Kroos and Grip, right? Um, is Wandering Ar Wandering Archaic is colorless. It's not an artifact, right? Because it appears at the start of the collector's numbers. It's not an artifact. Gross. Yeah, that was on a multi five too. It's not an artifact. So Tangle Trap is for like the Muse. I don't know if I want to do that either. I think I'd be pretty happy with a reject here. There's some very spicy stuff on four for him. Yeah, we saw a spectacle mage. We saw at least one spectacle mage in the deck. I do like reject. There's some pretty powerful creatures that we'd be happy to to yoink. Um, and I think we cut put that in over one of these mathematicians. They're good little blockers, but they're not amazing. I don't know that we want a third. I think we go back in trying that. But if we can do that on a multi five, maybe we're fine. Maybe we'll be fine. Yeah, we should have screenshotted the deck. That would be the smart plays. Back in the days of paper magic, you'd take notes. I remember writing down thought seized hands. 
clearly that was when I was playing standard. So clearly that was a while ago. All right, let's not multi five. This doesn't have to multi five. This has a curve. Oh, find me a forest and this has a curve. Campus guide. Can, can I have a land of the color that I want? No, no, I get an island. That's fair. That's fair. Pass the turn. Don't mind that. Um, I guess we're just pledge maging here, but boy, do I need a forest. Yeah, with paper and a pen. With paper cards in my hand. Stupid pillar drop warden. No, I don't need that color, but thanks. <laughs> um... Yeah, I guess we're frost tricks trading. And I'm not trading off that pledge mage. All right, deck. Come on. Come on. This has been like the story of our lives in these tournaments. There we go. There we go. Bajillion and a half pillar drop wardens. I guess we cultivator grabbing a forest to keep a snakeskin veil up. Or do we get the Wrangler going now? He's also land screwed, by which he missed one turn. It's not huge. So that means next turn would be Karak Wrangler holding up snakeskin. So yeah, let's cultivate her. Grabbing a forest. Boop. Pass in the turn. We're going to go a little bit all in on Vortex Runner this game, I think. So that Snakeskin Veil should probably be kept as long as possible. That looks like another missed land drop. Uh, Campus Guide's going to help out. Our lands, yeah. All right. I think this is a scry on upkeep. We'll have three mana available. I don't think there's a huge downside. And we've bought ourselves a, like a tinch of time. No. All right, we need a mage duel ASAP. It's the start of an answer. We really need this to not go to the long game though, unfortunately. Because once those double explosive welcomes come into play, we're in trouble. No red-white deck this time. Did I play a red-white deck last time? I think I played Quandrix last time. Because I had the Quandrix dragon. And in three matches, most of which went to like turn 20, we never drew it. Oh, Cal, Cal time tournament. Did I say Cal time tournament in like the Twitch data? No, I said Strixhaven. I don't know how we win this long game. I have no idea how we win this long game. I guess we start by trying to kill the Archaic.
did he have? What did he have in the deck? I don't remember, but I don't know how we get terribly blown out here. Divide by zero, pledge mage. So we snakeskin veil the cultivator. Or do we counter this and lose our cultivator? Or no, we don't even lose it because we get a counter off the wrangler. Yeah. Hexproof that. I'll pay my two. I'll put a counter on the cultivator. Counter on the pledge mage. Pay for it. You don't get a snakeskin veil, my friend. No learning. Whew. Whew. That's a start. Ether helix in its natural state. Being unable to cast because we don't have a permanent in our graveyard. <clears throat> we need to get attacks going. And I really want the Frost Trickster in the bin so that I can Ether Helix. So like if we come in like this. This gives us like two counters on the Pledge Mage. It gives us, if we want a counter on Pledge Mage, counter on the Cultivator. I, I want, I kind of want something to die here. But if we can take out a warden while we're at it, or even just clear the ground a little bit, I think we're in decent shape. Oh, we've got a battle to go to. Let's get this battle going. Okay. Whew. All in. So we can make our pledge mage a 5-5. Five, five. We can bounce a warden. Two, four, five. Or do we bounce a pledge mage? We bounce a pledge mage to keep it, but I honestly kind of want it to go into the bin. We can make it a five, five. So we bury guide and we keep it alive. Sure. So we go pillar drop. We hit a guide. And we go counters on this. So it's going to eat a warden. He's going to lose a guide. He's going to take six. And we'll go from there. I really want something to die. <laughs> I want to cast the Ether Helix. Oh, I didn't even click start. Look at me. Pro Stream Raider streamer. Kill something. Please. I beg. I think we scry. I have four mana left over. I don't really want to land. 
Test of talents. Yeah, yeah, I'll pick that up. Yep. Please and thank you. Please and thank you muchly. Uh, atomic score with the most kills, filled with the most assists. We got six gold to everybody, 25 gold to Dirk and Furnock. Let's go to the stream, uh, the, blah, 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 the skin chest. Pop your units in every five minutes. We'll get back to that in a bit. Uh, we're going to come on and, as they say, slam. Come on and slam. That test should get us through. It should really get us through. No, 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 no. You don't get to do that. Uh, let's make sure that Cultivator is going to kill a Warden. Blade Historian, currently castable, not a problem. Returned Past Caller. Castable. Mild problem, but not the literal worst. So I, I want to see instant speed effects. We've got an explosive welcome, a barian books, a dispute, a negate, a second barian books, a second explosive welcome. Okay. 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 I really wish something died. This ether helix would blow things wide open. So next turn is a single creature coming down. That would be a block block, three, four, five. That's lethal if we could cast the stupid ether helix. Dollar, uh -huh. Bringing back learn. So we kind of want to win this turn. So we'll scry on upkeep. Leaves us with... Uh, one leaves us with three mana. That's a lot of things we can cast. So let's scry on upkeep. Uh, the Pickle Senpai. Thanks for that follow. Land certainly doesn't do it. Biomathematician doesn't really do it, but, you know, we get what we get. In, in, in. That's going to be a very good ether helix. Show me past caller on Trickster. Please. I beg. I need something to die. Did we ever figure out why this explicitly requires you to have something in your graveyard, why it couldn't have been returned up to one? Swing all... Yeah, it wouldn't be awful. I don't know why I protected the Karak Wrangler like that. Yeah. No. No, kill the Trickster. Yes. Yes. Something died. Something died. All right. We should not have too much of a problem closing this out now. Ether Helix, bounce what he plays, return whatever, pledge mages online, we've got counters up the wazoo, deal four. What would an, can't even cast an explosive welcome. We did it. We did it. We're going to round two. It's been a few weeks since I've been to round two, but we're going to round two, YouTube. 